Good morning, uh, good afternoon, even everyone. Andy Larkin here from Access. Thanks for joining today's webinar. I'm here today to give you an introduction to Access Recruitment CRM. Um, we've got a number of people already joined, so thank you for that. I'm probably just going to allow another, maybe just a one minute past the hour to allow others to, to get logged in. So just go on mute and I'll, I'll rejoin in a minute or so, and then we'll kick off and I'll give you a bit further explanation about Access, and then we'll quite quickly today get into some software. So just bear with me for a few more seconds to, let, to allow everyone else to join the meeting. Okay, cool. Hi, everyone. Andy again here. Um, so yeah, a handful of more people just kind of joined in the last minute or so. So a welcome uh, to all of you again. So today's webinar is all about how quickly uh, you can get moving with our Access Recruitment CRM platform, and how you can be ready um, to kind of deal with fast-paced temporary recruitment using uh, our solution, our Recruitment CRM solution. So just a couple of things first I want to go through. And then we'll very quickly get into some software. Um, we're going to have some time at the end to kind of take, take questions. Um, you can ask questions, I believe, over go to webinar during. So don't be afraid if you want to throw a question in during. Um, if I don't get to it until the end, don't be offended. Uh, if, if a lot of them come in, then we might just have to wait for the end. Uh, for, the, for the software demonstration for today, I want to show you some real key parts. So I don't think we'll probably spend longer than 10, maybe 15 minutes on software and then kind of a Q&A at that point, and we'll go for as long as we need to to answer everyone's questions. So you should all now be able to see my screen. Uh, and as a bit of a starting point, if you like, a kind of brief introduction to Access. Although today's focus is gonna be on recruitment CRM, Access as a group offer much more to the recruitment industry. So as you can see plotted on the line on the screen now, we do everything from candidate attraction, and that came to us via the acquisition of Volcanic about a year or so ago. So that's website technology candidate attraction uh, to your website. Um, we do recruitment CRM, that, that's today's webinar. Uh, but beyond that, we can do uh, or provide you with a product called Access Screening. So that's compliance checks, background checks, and automation of referencing. Furthermore, we can offer you a pay and bill solution, and our pay and bill solution underpins some of the most complex um, and high volume temporary agencies in the country. And furthermore, from a credit control perspective or a finance perspective, we have access to financials. So we really do offer everything in terms of business critical recruitment software that an agency will need and some additional nice to haves along the way that we might touch on today. So it is a huge, huge percentage of the um, best in class recruitment agencies that use our software. So 75% of the top 20 UK recruitment agencies use one or more products from the Access Group. A huge volume of uh, payroll transactions every through our pay and bill um, solution. And although, yes, we do underpin some of these larger scale companies, it's important to mention that. That is a very steep curve. There are some large and successful companies that use our software, but that, that is not the makeup of the recruitment agency industry in the UK. We have plenty of um, candidates, uh, sorry, plenty of clients that use our software, you know, that are almost lifestyle businesses or one man bands, one woman bands, and everything in between up to the likes of some of those larger style um, agencies. So let, let's now um, dispense with the PowerPoint presentation. We're going to go straight into our recruitment CRM platform. Now, the first thing you should now be able to see on screen, and this comes included with each license of Access Recruitment CRM, this is what we call Access Workspace. So this will typically be the first screen you see in the morning when you log in. Workspace is very unique to the Access Group. This allows us to deliver from all those multiple products I told you that we 
work space allows you to take bite sized critical um, pieces of information from each one of those products and display it in one simple, single sign on user environment. So you can see on the screen here, I have information coming straight from the recruitment CRM, so KPI information. So the things that underpin most agencies um, is, is activity. So I'm talking about CV sends, jobs created, and so on. I also have from the recruitment CRM the ability to quickly populate the database by dragging and dropping a CV here. But what works where Workspace goes further is if you ever wanted to take from us additional products, things like um, holiday booking software, we can offer and um, deliver that to you now. Expenses software, we can also provide that to you. And when you think about uh, kind of the gold standard in delivering multi products to the end user, you don't have to go far um, to see evidence of who's really kind of best in class at that. For me, that's the likes of Apple and Google. So you can see Google here, things like YouTube, Gmail, Google Drive Maps, all things you consume probably on a daily basis from Google. They're all connected. No one really cares too much about how they're connected. They just are, and they're really easy to use. That's the approach we've taken with Workspace and our multiple product offering. So in the very top left here, on a nine box grid, similar to, to the way Google would do it, all our additional products are here, and they're ready for you to take as and when your business needs them, grows into them, or requires them. And they simply just open up on additional tabs across the top of the screen. So you can see me just underlining some of the um, tabs I have in my environment. So I can jump straight to the CRM, which is here. I can jump straight to pay and bill information if you have it. And it's all displayed, as I say, in this kind of single sign-on, browser-based, web-based, call it what you will, um, environment um, with easy to deploy apps that you can move around the screen, as you can see I'm doing right now. So let's get stuck straight into the uh, recruitment CRM. Now, I'm going to very quickly get into one particular screen that allows you to manage uh, high volume and fast paced temporary recruitment. Just before I do that, something that was really important to us um, when we first launched this particular version of the software a few years back now, is how do we, how do we make sure um, that best practice in terms of using the software stays within the business and when new people join, how do you make sure they do things the way um, we would teach you initially how to do them? So that's been for a number of years, a, a large difficulty in our industry. So at the beginning of your project, we'll train you and train you well, but what happens on day two, day three, day four, when people just forget what they were taught? So the way we've approached that is up in the top right hand side of the screen on this little question mark, there's something that we call walkthroughs. So there's about 60 different walkthroughs in the system now, that will only grow um, over time. And what walkthroughs, uh, are not, it's not going to be a video that's going to show you how to do something. Um, it's not just going to be a bullet pointed list of how to do things in the system. It's much more intuitive than that. So if, as an example, if you're sending a CV, um, I can just search for that particular walkthrough and you should be able to see straight away on the screen every button I need to click on to complete that particular task. So in this instance, I'm sending a CV. Um, so it, the system itself will teach you how to do things and walk you step by step how to do those particular things in the system. So you can see now it's walked me right to the point of clicking on the send CV button. Now it's asking me to pick the applicant. So when you multiply that up to all the different walkthroughs that are, that are in the system, and as I said, if you look down here on the right now, we have almost 60 of them, there's 55 in there currently. So the obvious ones are things like, how do you add a client? How do you add a timesheet to the system, which we're gonna come on to shortly? How do you run searches in the system? All those most common practices and features are now built into the software itself. So as I say, making sure best practice stays in the business and you get the most out of the software in the shortest amount of time. So let's jump straight back into our what we call our scheduling screen. This is the screen I mentioned that uh, for high volume and fast paced temp people we use um, day in, day out. So it, it, it may be obvious what's on screen, but I don't, I don't need to be clear about it because you can have quite a lot of data on this screen and you would want quite a lot of data because presumably you want to be managing um, a large volume of uh, candidates and clients at any one time. So just to explain, if I circle just one of these kind of rows here at the top, so that is a, a job and the terminology changes from industry and from company to company. So a job in your world might be a requirement, an assignment, 
uh, a shift maybe, but I'm going to call them jobs today. So this is a job for a supply teacher. And then going across the screen, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Fairly obvious what this is, I hope, what you're looking at. And it really does just depend how big your monitor is, how good your eyesight is, and just kind of how you like to digest information. But there are some tools across the top to help you kind of zoom in to see more or less information. Each one of these different um, Days it is a different requirement, a different again terminology, different booking, different shift, and so on. Now you can see from this particular supply teacher role, everything's green, and uh, there's a person placed in that role. But I do have one remaining unfilled requirement just below it um, in red on the screen. So I'm going to show you this next bit really quickly. Um, and I just want to label the point that the software will um, allow you to kind of make placements just this quick. So we're at the point now where you can run what we call an auto match. It will load into the lower half of the screen all your available um, candidates, teachers in this case, but not just available, but you know, it can load in people at the same time with that one click that are close by to that particular shift or job and really importantly are qualified to do that particular um, requirement. And then of course, in a real world scenario, you probably need to call um, or at least very, at the very least, kind of email these candidates. Just clicking on them reveals all their information, so you can absolutely go ahead and do that, but remain on this screen. And when you know that they can undertake this particular assignment, you can just drag them and drop them onto either the individual shift, or perhaps they can do that whole week of bookings. Either way, it's just as simple as drag, drop, let go. The system now will do some um, validation and compliance checks, so it can reject people from placements if they do not have. The relevant requirements which you control so i'm thinking about things if it was a, a teacher into a school they would of course need to have a dbs check and uh, they might need to have certain other certification those things will need to be in us you know within date uh, if they do not meet those compliance checks and reject them but you know I, i'd set this up so it was going to allow me to place that person if i click on it i can actually see the fine detail that george brown we placed as a supply teacher on this particular day for this shift and if I click into that, of course, I'm not going to do this today, but you will get all the fine detail about pay rates and the margin calculations and so on. Back on the same screen, we can um, send text message confirmations now straight out of the system. So from the same scheduling screen, if you want to quickly get a text message out to someone and on their phone confirming that particular booking, where they're going, who they're reporting to, pay rates, uh, times uh, that they need to turn up, we can do that now simply straight from the scheduling screen. It's a branded text message, so it, you know it's not a random number that lands on their phone. It will be the um, uh, your company name, if you like. I think up to twelve characters you can have in there, so that will land on their phone, confirming exactly where and when they're going. And of course, that can be followed up with a more traditional email confirmation. Or you might like to also know we have a number of portals available that can be built into your website, perhaps into your Volcanic website if you wanted to talk to us about our website technology and how we can help you there. But the portals will allow candidates and clients to log in via the website and see things like a whole document library of, um, of um, placement documentation. So there is a huge amount more you can do on this screen. I really am touching on the basics today of how you can kind of schedule someone. Adding new jobs is super simple. Placing multiple people is just as easy. Extending placements, you can do it all from this one screen. And this screen works in synergy with one other screen I'm going to show you now, because whilst this screen is very much about the scheduling and the searching and the placing of people, if you just want a snapshot of your business kind of high level as to who you've got working where and the underlying um, statistics that are, that are powering your business in terms of temp volumes. Up here on a separate tab, I've got this set up and something we call contract job manager. And I'll just sit down there on screen for a second as you digest that. As I say, this is less about the activity of filling a shift and more about the, um, the byproduct of that in terms of volume and numbers and scale. So there's lots of controls on here. So you can look at this per, per um, client, per consultant in your team, and many other different ways you can look at this. Um, but this will kind of give you some high levels of how many vacancies you've got, how many are filled, how many are unfilled, approximate weekly margin, who's working where. And this is dynamic as well. So you can click into these. Um, Click into these to see um, more detail. This is an app we launched only uh, a few weeks ago, and we're already planning for a future release to, to improve functionality and deliver more value for clients who like to kind of um, see this kind of level of um, statistics on their business in a, in a live time environment. So I did say I'd keep it 
concise today. I did not want to make this a uh, uh, an hour long demonstration. If you do want to find out more about the software and scratch away at the surface from what we've done today, then by all means um, do get in touch. We can set that up with one of our sales consultants here to walk you through in a bit more detail the temp temporary functionality and then much more functionality that we've not we've not touched on um, today. So I did say I would open it up to questions. You should easily be able to identify where you can kind of type in your question. I've got a couple here already, which I'll, I'll jump in and answer, but do start typing away if you've got any more. I've got a handful already. So first question is how quick how quickly can things get set up? So pretty quickly, uh, you know, we kind of measure deployment sometimes in days, but normally in a, a week or two, there are of course some caveats to that. Data migration is always the one thing. Do you want to bring data with you? But um depending on uh, the complexity how fast you want to go it can be measured in weeks so a couple of weeks even with a data migration historically we're not saying we always like to do this but sometimes we can get people set up in, in a matter of days um if need be um you know we like to work with people to help them meet their goals so if you do want to get up set up, set up really quickly do talk to us about that um and the second question was about onboarding. Yes, so onboarding, you know, getting, we don't just throw the software or a login at you. you good luck. Thank you very much. All, as you might expect, um, at this current time, all of our onboarding is being done remotely, but that is something we've been doing for a number of years now. Um, so absolutely all, all onboarding will be remote, but it will be one-to-one, -one, you know, with one of our onboarding team. Whilst there is an element of digital learning involved, you still will be assigned an individual, a person to look after you and hold and um, hold your hand through the onboarding process. Sorry, I'm just reading the next question. So, where is customer support located? So, you know, we're a UK-centric company. Across our group, we've got two and a half or more a thousand staff now, and it's all all, all UK-based. All our support, all our um, development for us, recruitment software is all done in the UK. Um, our support. Um, Agents and support teams are based in our Basingstoke office and in our Leicester office. Last question, how often is the software upgraded? So we don't have a set um, kind of agenda for upgrades, but it, it is approximately once a month that we release uh, an update and an upgrade, which will include feature um, updates, feature upgrades, enhancements to the software is about once a month. Um, sometimes that can be as many as two, uh, two in a particular month. So to answer that a different way, really, really often. So there, there is a fee you pay monthly for the software, but you get a lot of value from that. If only just in the fact that the software is updated so quickly. There's plenty of uh, other things that come with it in terms of support as well. But you will be getting new features almost on a monthly basis. Think. I'm just checking on my other screen. Sorry, I've got another screen up here. So yeah, that's all the questions that I've had come through. Um, again, I want to be true to what I said. I wanted to keep it today to, to 15 or 20 minutes and we're around that time now. There's no other questions coming in. We will make available to you the, the recording of the webinar uh, and, and simple contact details for you to reach out to us if you wanted to set up a further demonstration. Um, and whilst we've shown you temporary functionality today, contract um, functionality, permanent functionality, it's all in there. So thank you for joining, thank you for taking the time. Um, I hope you have a good rest of the day. Thank you, bye.